welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video. That is one video I have wanted to do for a while and I keep forgetting <laughs> that I wanted to do it and then I start watching other people's videos and I'm like, yes, I forgot I was supposed to do one like that and um, here it is, okay? So uh, my bag at the moment, this is what I've been using in the summer, but um, I don't know, it's a coach leather black and white or cream colored bag it needs to be cleaned but um yeah so this is my bag at the moment um i switch it out sometimes when i need to carry more stuff um i have bigger more roomy roomier bags that I like to use when I'm babysitting my nieces or when I'm uh, gonna be traveling for a couple hours. Um, but for the moment, I've just been shoving everything in here and it's kinda getting heavy and it's probably time to swap out my purse. So without further ado, uh, Bath and Body Works, this one is Sweet Magnolia and Clementine. I always carry one of these with me. There's always one in my car. Um, in my, if I took the camera out there right now, there's probably two or three in my car door downstairs. Um, and then I always decide if I'm inside, I might say, oh, I don't want those. I want this one, you know. So I always have one of these in my purse too. I should probably invest in the smaller ones, but because um, I wish you could open this and pour it into the littler spray bottle because that would be so much more convenient than carrying this big long bottle around. But I'll carry it in my purse, and then when I go into like the mall or go in to eat or whatever, I will put it in my car, which is why I have like two or three in my car. Okay, so what else? This is what it looks like, just so you guys see. Everything's just thrown in there. Like I have, it's got two pockets, a zipper pocket here, and then a little pocket here, and then the middle part is just open. So I will just take everything out of the side pocket first. Not the zipper pocket, but this pocket here. So I have a zebra pen, favorite pen in the entire world. I probably have about 10 of these in my closet because I hoard them. Um, I never wanna be without them. Um, you can never go without some mouthwash. I have a bunch of these too, which were given to me by a friend who works at a dentist's office. Um, they were. A little expired but um, I used it and it's still good so whatever um, a little travel size thing of lotion which I just refill here whenever it gets low and I always have it in my purse for my dry hands um, various hair ties hair ties hair ties <laughs> oh another pen I love hair ties. I sometimes I wear them around my wrists because I don't want to ever be without one. Oh, this I just purchased this a couple weeks ago at Ulta. It's the EOS um, lip balm. It smells really good and I love it. Um, a miscellaneous key, which I think this might be for my garage door. A barrette. Never know when you want a barrette. <laughs> um, some change here, um, bobby pins, just black bobby pins, and then these are my favorite, um, I have those in there, another bobby pin, my little Kershaw, um, knife, very, very sharp, you never know when you might need a knife for something and having trouble shutting it um an arby's straw i like arby's arby's is good i like their ooh, i like their potato cakes and um the uh junior roast beef sandwiches mm. an insurance thing from geico for a vehicle that actually is for my daughter. I have to send it to my daughter. Um, some bu a buckle card. 
and another one that just says the girl's name I guess and the kind of jeans I tried on and loved you guys I always it took me years to ever go to buckle I was never going to ever spend more than I know this sounds terrible more than like $30 on a pair of jeans are you serious who would buy a pair of jeans for like $60 or $150 that's ridiculous I love American Eagle for my jeans. I love the way they stretch. I love the way they feel. I love the way they fit. They're super comfortable and I love the way they fit. Like they don't smash my butt. They don't have a huge gap in the back or anything. I love them. And then one day my husband wanted to go into the buckle and I was like, if I must, last time I went in there was probably 10 plus years ago and they were very rude and snobby towards me so I don't I don't even like looking in that store when I pass by so I went in that day with my husband and they were super nice they were very kind of pushy to a point and I know this is going off on a tangent when I'm supposed to be showing you what's in my purse but just real quick so they're giving me all these clothes to try on stuff I've never wear like crop tops no I do not have a stomach for crop tops um but you know giving me all sorts of different types of jeans and fits and styles and everything oh my gosh they were so comfortable and so cute like i fell in love with them and i bought a pair that day and that was probably three three months ago or so and then i went back again about a week or two ago and i got two more pairs <laughs> I totally understand why people would go there and buy jeans. They feel very sturdy. The quality feels really good. Um, I just love them. I mean, if they're going to last me a long time, then it's worth it. It's an investment. I'm done with that now. Okay, I'm done with my little pocket. Now I'm going to go into the zipper pocket, which is usually where I put stuff that I don't want falling out. Okay, you know what these are, I'm sure. And if you're a guy watching this video, I apologize because you're in for a rude awakening. You're looking in a girl's purse. Always have those. Sometimes in my car as well. You never know when the visit will strike. Um, hand sanitizer, which I also fill up here. I have a big one at home and I just always fill I just always up at home and the sun just kind of went down and that sucks little pill container it's just a little I use acetaminophen since my doctor told me that ibuprofen raises your blood pressure temporarily so I will never use ibuprofen again unless it's an emergency um, a receipt grocery store receipt <laughs> I love grocery shopping not really and I always end up doing it by myself which really sucks I prefer the company of my husband or my son um, my Sephora receipt the Sephora here by me is in JCPenney's so it's actually a JCPenney's receipt from when I went to Sephora oh all my Culver's um, free scoopy free scoop of ice cream coupons which are from Culver's I love Culver's cheeseburgers and stuff but um, every time you get a kids meal the bag has one of these on it so you can save this for another scoop of ice cream I have a bunch of them um, let's see tissues for my allergies because there's nothing worse than being out in public and having the feeling that your nose is running and there's nothing you can do about it and there's no tissue around. I mean, you can use your hand, but that's kind of gross. That's, I mean, if it's an emergency, you got to do what you got to do. I hope you have long sleeves. Um, a little booklet that's got, um, like, I'm not going to show, actually, I'm not going to show you the inside because that would be stupid, but it's got my passwords in here um, for logging online to pay bills, and it's got passwords for websites and things like that, like shopping websites, and um, this is, this never leaves my side, pretty much. This is also, that was a little moleskin. I love moleskin. I'm obsessed with moleskin notebooks. Um, I get them at Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Nobles 
um, or online. Um, and this is just a little date book, uh, planner date book thing. You can't even see because of the dang. But like I write stuff in it and um, it's not a diary. I don't use it as a diary. I use it for appointments and things and to keep track of things that I'm doing daily. Um, it's always come in handy when my husband or someone asks me, what day was that that we went to blah, blah, blah? I don't know. Let me check. Anyways, I love this thing. I need to get a new one for next year. We are now in the bigger compartment, by the way. Another hair tie. Another hair tie. My sunglasses, which are usually in my car, but I think I just stuck them in there. Not just, but yesterday. Um, oh, spare contact lens case, because I have in the past, my contacts started bugging me. I don't know if it was from allergies or something about my makeup or something, but they started burning like they were on fire. And I, there was nothing I could do. Like, I'm like this, and my son was like, your eyes are all red. And I was so embarrassed, and I didn't know what to do, so I had to wait until we came home to just take them out, but they were hurting real bad. So since then, I have put a contact lens case in my purse just in case it happens again. Headphones. Um, these are usually in another little bag, my gym bag, but they are in my purse right now. I don't even know where my gym, other gym bag is. Um, a pool card, um, little thing that I just got at Barnes and Nobles like a couple weeks ago too. It's got like a little notepad and then you flip it over and it's got post-it notes and flags like page markers. It's so adorable. Why am I yelling? Tissue, which I'll probably be needing in about two seconds. Another tissue. That one's open though. My car keys. Listex, oh my gosh, I can't leave home without something like this or the, or this, but preferably this, um, or Carmex or Lip Medics or something. I always have to have like a chapstick or something. This is really smooth. I love the Blistex. It's, it just kind of glides on. How has this turned into a 12 and a half minute video? I don't understand because I'm rambling. A little, um, just a mirror. I'm not going to show you the mirror. I don't want to blind you. Um, another, uh, another buckle thing. Um, a free pretzel. Look how raggedy it is. It's like you can barely see that. I better use it before the <laughs> ink is completely worn off. For Auntie Anne's, for a meh, buy mini dogs and medium or large drink and receive a pretzel free. Yeah, I don't know how long that's been in there. Um, little thing of mints, they're called empowerments. You can do it. I can't, you can't see anything because of the, they're kind of like Altoids, which I didn't think that they were going to be that strong. I actually don't like Altoids that much or mints that are super strong. Do you guys remember? You probably don't, but I used to love certs, like C-E-R-T-S. I loved certs. Those were good. A couple pennies. Hair clippy, we'll stick that in there too. And another one of my zebra pens. And last but not least, it's all finished, guys. Last but not least is my wallet. This is um, Ralph Lauren wallet. It's a leather black leather wallet. That's full of goodies too, but mostly cards and um, can't leave home without band-aids. Um, I don't know. Do you want to see what's in my wallet? Best Buy card. I don't really, I don't think I'm going to need to go through my wallet too. There's just cards from stores and stuff. And here comes my... <coughs> oh, I knew that was coming. Anyways, that is it for what's in my bag. Now I'm going to have a blast putting it all back in my bag. Actually, maybe now's a good time to switch out my bag. Not yet. I'm not going to do it yet. Because I have to go in a little bit. And I don't feel like looking for another bag. I should do like a bag collection. Because I have like a few nice bags. Not a ton of them. But I used to work at Macy's. I used to work at Macy's. 
and I got a really good discount and when stuff was on sale it was even a better discount and so I was doing some damage when I worked there so um, I hope you enjoyed my video give me a thumbs up if you would like and subscribe to my channel um, and I will see you guys later have a good day